Hey, welcome back to our Google My Business Setup training. In this video, we're going to be talking about keyword research as it pertains to optimizing your Google My Business listing. And so if you don't do this part, a lot of the work that we've done up until this point inside of this mini-series is going to be wasted, or at least at the minimum, it's not going to be maximized. So if you're going to take the time to go and put together all the media that we've suggested and do it in the way that we've suggested it in previous videos, you really need to take notice of this part, pay close attention, and make sure that you go through each of these steps in detail, uh, starting with this video and over the next few videos. Why is keyword research so important for your Google My Business listing and in general? Well with all the photos and the videos and the 360 photos and virtual tours that we're putting up onto the Google My Business listing, you have to remember that Google does not know what is in the pictures or the videos if you don't tell it. At least not right now. There's no real form of AI that can discern with absolute certainty what is in a particular photo unless you tell it. So it's very important to take this keyword research part of what we're doing here and use that to appropriately name the different photos and, and do a couple other things that we're going to do in the next few videos using this research. Okay. The other reason it's important is because people are searching for specific things in regards to your business and the services that you offer or the products that you sell. So you want your content, all these photos and so on and so forth, to match that. You know, it makes more sense to to keyword your, and we'll talk about this in more detail, keyword particular items for something specifically that somebody is searching for versus a different version that nobody is searching for. And it could be just the difference of a word or two that can make all the difference. Okay, so I'm going to make this as simple and straightforward as possible for the sake of this training so that you can just get up and running and get going. And if you want to dive into more advanced stuff, I'll have some more information on how you can do that as well. Okay, so that's why keyword research is super, super important. Now, what I want to do with you, like I said, is keep things really, really simple and start with some basic keyword research. And the thing that I found is is really easy to do to keep this simple without getting super techie is to start really broad. Okay, think about what is your industry, okay, and then what geography or cities are you operating in? So let me give you an example in regards to what we're doing for SideClick Design, the company that we're using as the example for this entire series. So they're a web design company. So as you can see here on my screen, it might be a little bit small, but hopefully you can still see it. On the left-hand side here, we have the keywords. So we have Sarasota Web Design. So it's the city that he's in plus the industry web design. Okay, then we have Sarasota Website Design. Okay, another thing that he offers is graphic design. So we have graphic design Sarasota. We have Sarasota web development. So you see there's a couple different variations of the word web design, website design, web development. We want to make sure that we capture those in our preliminary research. Okay, so you can see here at the top we have Sarasota web design and at the bottom we have website designer Sarasota. And you'll notice here that I have the number of people searching for each of these things in the column next to it. And you'll notice that just by switching around the word Sarasota, and the words web, web design, there's a really big difference in people searching. 390 versus 70. So this is why you want to get some of this more specifically because, you know, that, that is a big, you want to show up for the stuff that has higher searches as long as it's relevant for your business. Okay. Now what I want to show you is a quick little tip here is you, you might start with a handful of things following this method. Okay. Just intuitively thinking about what somebody would look for. You know, if you're a dentist and you're in Denver, Colorado, you would just do dentist Denver or dentist Denver, Colorado. And you could flip flop it too. So you can start with things like that. And then what I'll show you is check this out. So let's just go to Google and we'll do dentist Denver, Colorado. Okay. Something that I want to show you here is if you scroll to the bottom of the page for this, then what you'll find is a bunch of related searches here at the bottom of Google. So this is a really great way to find some extra keywords that you weren't even thinking of, okay? So best dentist in Denver, dental offices in Denver, dentists in downtown Denver. If, if you're in downtown Denver, you definitely want this one. 
Okay, because people are this is what people are actually searching. And you'll notice that on my screen, this this is a little bit different. You see these actual search numbers here. Okay, that is coming from a keyword tool, a free keyword tool that I'm using called keyword uh, keywords everywhere it's a Google Chrome extension it might also be for other browsers as well but uh, I'm not positive on that but I do know it works on Google Chrome just do a quick search for keywords everywhere uh, plugin and then you can get these same results as well and so like you know maybe I'll just look at uh, dental offices in Denver or best let me look at best dentists in Denver okay and I'm getting an idea of these different search volumes. You know, there's 590 people searching for this every month. Now I'm going to go back down to the bottom here. This is just the way to do it. That's it's it's easy. It's free. Uh, it's not as thorough as some of the other methods that that we use, but it'll definitely get you started. So, you know, you can see more down here. Denver dentist. 5280 top dentist. I think that's a magazine in Denver. Dentist in Denver CO. Uh, you know, that's another variation of this. So now you've got a great list of some of your top keywords, okay, as a result of this method. Okay, and so then what we're going to do is if you look back here on my screen, okay, we've got down here, we've got those keywords here. And I could even just, you know, add a bunch more. Um, there's no limit to how many you can really put here and keep track of, okay. The next piece, and I'm going to just briefly touch on this, is the LSI keywords. So you have your main keywords that you're going to find some search volume for those, and then you're going to have the LSI keywords, which you're not going to find, you might not find people any search volume for it at all, but people are searching for it. And LSI, I think it stands for latent semantic indexing, is the actual term. And it just has to do with Google knowing that certain keywords and certain terminology is related to the big keywords. So in this example, you know, if we take the the example of a dentist, some of the LSI keywords related to dentistry are teeth whitening, root canal, braces, cavities, teeth cleaning, things like that. So Google knows that somebody looking for teeth whitening is probably somebody who's looking for a dentist or more specifically even a cosmetic dentist. Okay, so what you do is you just want to think about, and I have more in-depth training on this. I'm not going to go into detail here because just just to get you started, you can come up with a lot of these off the top of your head. So think about your industry, okay, and you did this part where you go over the basic keyword research and you think about, you know, your industry plus the city that you're in, okay. The easiest way to come up with a lot of LSI keywords is to think of the different services that you offer, or the problems that you solve, you know. So if you think about a chiropractor, one of your LSI keywords would have to do with back pain, right? Because somebody who's got back pain and searching for back pain is probably going to want help from a chiropractor or a doctor or something like that, okay? Another version of your LSI keywords can be, if you're like a retail store, a list of a bunch of the different products that you offer. So if you're going to be putting pictures of products into your Google My Business listing, then you will want pictures of those products and then you'll want to use these LSI keywords to help name these these files correctly okay so that is the basic overall you know the super basic version of keyword research and LSI keyword research that I wanted to share with you in regards to your Google My Business setup and, and how to set up your Google My Business listing what you want to do is you want to be logging these all into a spreadsheet or a notepad so you can implement them in some of the next steps in our upcoming training modules, okay? So if you want to get super in-depth and, and nerdy with me on the keyword research, then you can click the link below this video in the description here. We'll also include you know different tools and strategies to make this as easy as possible for you, as thorough as possible, and as effective as we possibly can be so you can get the most out of you the most that you can out of your Google My Business listing and show up when people are searching for your stuff and make sure that they're calling you and not your competition, okay? And so we have an advanced course on all this stuff and everything up until this point. You can find more out about that in the description below, but this should be enough to get you started. So uh, look forward to catching you in the next video, and we're going to keep building off of this training.
Thanks for watching my video. If you got some value out of it, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. And then click that subscribe button if you want to get updates for all of our new upcoming content they're publishing every single day. I'll see you on the next video.